Moldova, also known as Wine Country. This is our story. With incredible fall weather, we left the capital city of Chisinau and voyaged into the countryside. Our first stop, Chateau Vartelli, with its castle-like ramparts and relaxing environment. We arrived just in time for the crush of a bountiful harvest. Modern production techniques, coupled with lavish tasting rooms, Chateau Vartelli presented us with world-class wine and food. Traditional dishes like mamaliga and locally sourced ingredients, followed by delicious cherry placenta and walnut-stuffed dried plums, each paired with an incredible rosé. At the nearby Kirchi Monastery, Ludmila, our guide and sommelier, would introduce us to a historical gem. Built in the 1700s, the Kerchi Monastery was closed during the years of Soviet Communism. It has since been refurbished and reopened. The brilliant geological formation of Old Orhe Inhabited for thousands of years, Old Orhe is the site of a series of monasteries. We took in the incredible views from this cave monastery. Inside, women are required to wear headscarves. And after seven centuries, monks still reside here. Old Orhe has incredible views and a fascinating history. Krikova Winery. The Krikova Express would take us on a tour of the winery cellars, which total over 100 kilometers, or 60 miles. Moldova is truly a land of many hidden gems. <laughs>